Last Monday, the UN World Food Programme announced that it will discontinue its primary aid programme in Syria, starting from the beginning of 2024, due to a lack of funding. In recent years, the WFP has reduced its assistance both in Syria and the neighbouring countries that host millions of Syrians who have fled the war. This marks the seventh occasion on which the WFP has announced a reduction in aid to Syria. The previous announcement was made on June 13, declaring a cut in food assistance to approximately 2.5 million people, down from the previous 5.5 million, citing a funding crisis. The Ministry of Development and Humanitarian Affairs of the Syrian Salvation Government expresses deep concern over the World Food Programme's decision to suspend aid in northwestern Syria. According to it, the suspension will affect over 1.5 million people in more than 1,200 camps, facing heightened challenges due to recent earthquakes, forced displacement and high population density. Urging the WFP to reconsider, the ministry rejects the complete suspension and calls on the program to uphold its humanitarian and ethical responsibilities for ongoing support. Mustafa and his family who escaped Marad Norman when the regime occupied the region in 2019, have experienced the chaotic journey of displacement, moving between camps on the outskirts of Idlib before finally settling in a small house. Many like Mustafa and his family are heavily dependent on the World Food Programme's distribution in the region. The situation in Syria is dire, ranking sixth globally for the number of food insecure people. With over 12.1 million Syrians, over half the population, experiencing hunger and lacking regular access to sufficient food, the need is profound. The decision to cut the main assistance program will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the millions relying on the WFP for food assistance in Syria.